Many of you have asked for it, so here it is. The add-ons guide. What add-ons I'm using? Currently I'm on Twin Stars Apollo 2, Cataclysm Realm. So all these add-ons are the ones that I use on Cataclysm Expansion, but most of them are also available on all the other expansions and I'm also using them on Wrath of the Lich King, Mess of Pandaria, and even Legion, BFA, and Shadowlands. So all these add-ons, these are all the add-ons I'm using on Cataclysm Expansion. So let's go just one by one briefly. Auctionator, it is just to make the operations on the auction house easier for me. Bartender 4 changes your action bars and uh, makes it possible so that you can adjust your action bars in whatever way you want. Battleground targets shows all battleground enemies. Shows your healers, DPS tanks. You can target your enemies. So that's just for VGs. Combat indicator. This is an add-on that I'm using when I'm playing a rogue so that I see the enemies in combat and whether or not I can sap them. It just shows a little icon next to their uh, profile frame, target frame or focus frame. Diminishing returns. Uh, I believe that this add-on shows a little icon with the diminishing returns next to Gladius, but I'm not sure if it's this one, because Gladius on Cataclysm I believe doesn't show diminishing returns next to it, while on other expansions it does, so here you have to have a separate add-on. So I think this is what it does, I'm not 100% sure. Doom cooldown poles. Uh, flashes and abilities icon in the middle of the screen or you can adjust it and uh, it would flash the icon wherever on the screen that you prefer it to be I have it in the middle it is just kind of a uh, you don't you don't really see it when you're playing but I feel like it's something that is in the back of your mind when you're playing and uh, you can see the ability flash just for a second and you don't even have to track it on your action bars, you know. So that's I think that's a useful add-on too. Just something you don't really notice, but it plays a big role. Galvin's unit bars. It shows your health, your resources such as mana, holy power, combo points. Uh, whatever you enable, it shows it, and you can adjust where on the screen it is. You don't have to look at your um, profile frame um, but you can have your all the resources wherever you feel uh, you can see them the best so that's a great add-on gladiator LOSSA it is sound alert for uh, PvP instances and also world PvP you can enable disable it uh, if you want to use it in BGs or arena or world and it uses this uh, female voice to track the uh, cooldowns and abilities of your enemies when they use them Gladius the uh, classic arena enemy unit frames in arena Juked uh, it tracks interrupts and some other important cooldowns. Um, I use it only for interrupts because I don't know how to effectively set it up, but I think it can be used in many useful ways, such as tracking uh, priest's fear when you want to pre AMS to resist the fear and so on. But um, after years of playing, I've really developed this kind of uh, sense of when the priest's uh, fear is off cooldown. So I usually soak the fear in 
my MS anyway even without tracking it. But that's just one of the possibilities, there are many other add-ons to track interrupts and all this. Lose control, it displays the duration of CC effects on your character. So I believe this is the add-on that shows you uh, in the middle of the screen, it shows you whenever you're CC'd, you're rooted, you're stunned or whatever. Uh, this is the add-on that does that. Omni CC shows you the numbers uh, on your action bars and on the spells. Uh, it tracks the cooldown in seconds. Party ability bars. Uh, these are little bars that are usually I have them next to the party frames and it shows uh, some of the major abilities and their cooldown so if my arena partner uses uh, his kick or a stun or a bubble or something that I would like to know that's happened and we don't communicate or I don't know about it this add-on shows me that uh, postal or postal whatever um, what this does is when I click my mailbox I get a couple more options than usual and I can for instance open all mails without having to click on them so this add-on combined with the auctionator is a huge help when you have full mailbox of hundreds of mails uh, this makes it a lot easier to open them Power Auras Classic, I don't really use much. The only thing I use it for is uh, it is kind of a golden circle in the middle of my screen around my character. And what it does, it triggers whenever I'm under 35% HP. And this is especially useful for Retribution Paladin because as soon as you're under 35% HP, your Word of Glory crits. It is a talent, so um, this really helps me to track when it is optimal to use my word of glory. But it also has a ton of different functions and it is very similar to another add-on that I'm using and will be discussed later, which is called Tell Me When, but we'll get to it later. Prot is um, an add-on that helps with chat modulations uh, I use it especially for tracking the time when the messages were sent so it adds that a little timeline uh, next to the chat and all the messages um, profiles this is a great add-on uh, it is basically three add-ons profiles action bars keyboard binds and macros and it saves you the setup that you have on a character or on an account so if you you can save the way your action bars are set up your binds and macros and activate them and switch between multiple setups whenever you want to so this makes it easier when you're respecking a lot and changing bars and macros and binds also on cataclysm there there's a limited amount of uh, macros you can have uh, compared to later expansions you can only create so many macros so if you have uh, many alts different classes on your account you'll run out of space for macros so having this type of add-on uh, saving between different sets of macros within different classes is really really helpful okay quartz uh, great add-on uh, modifies the casting bars of yourself of your target focus and so on you can uh, place them wherever on your screen where you feel the most fitting and it also is a much nicer bar than the uh, regular one. Recount, that's damage recount, uh, shows your damage, healing, and your party's healing, and all these things. Safe queue, this is an amazing thing. 
it happened to me a few times that I accidentally clicked on leave queue when the queue popped up so this add-on makes it so that there's no option to leave queue directly in the pop-up window you can only enter the arena if you want to leave queue you have to click on the small button next to your minimap and leave queue from there so uh, this really is a great add-on lightweight add-on that if you're a high rated player and you accidentally cl click on leave queue because you were just randomly clicking on your screen and lose a ton of rating this is really really great thing and m it made me frustrate many times that I left queue by accident spell alerter um, this is a small alert where it shows you uh, on top of the screen it shows you the player that casts a spell and who is the target of the spell so for instance chaos bolt it shows you chaos bolt is being cast against this target and you can uh, do whatever you have to do to prevent it or to get ready for getting hit by it tell me when is one of the most important add-ons I'm using it is all the spells and buffs and debuffs that you see on my screen some people don't like it but uh, I like to see it and have it big and prominent wherever on the screen um, this shows you the buffs and debuffs on yourself on your targets on your party I like to track everything with tell me when also what you could what you could do you could set up your power auras if you prefer that and it does basically the same things or you could use weak auras is also an add-on replacement so power auras weak auras tell me when they do almost the same thing so it's up to you what you prefer to work with I prefer tell me when tidy plates um, it shows the uh, name plates of my targets especially I use it especially for enemy targets uh, I don't use it for party uh, and it makes it much uh, more visible all the debuffs where my enemies are positioned and so on Tolbrad reminder it just uh, posts a little message in the guild chat uh, whenever there's Talbarad about to happen and it also tells you whether you're attacking or not so it's good to farm honor and I always used to forget about Talbarad fight about being about to happen so this helps a lot DBM um, this works for both PV and PvP and it tracks the uh, for instance when the bases are getting capped by an enemy team after a minute and all that so that's a good add-on to have okay these were all my add-ons I'm currently using on Cataclysm and I've been using for years let's have a look in game and uh, see how some of these add-ons work I'm gonna show you what the add-ons do the most important add-ons bartender you can see my bars are in the default bars uh, this is how I set them up uh, these are made invisible because I don't have to see these spells bartender options slash BT and you can adjust them the way you want the visibility uh, where they're placed uh, how big they are how many buttons so that's the bartender uh, slash TMW for tell me when uh, these here you can see we can track the enemy buffs at the top if I targeted an enemy there's the buffs on the target underneath there's buff on the focus target and I'm tracking all the important spells like evasion, shield wall, bubble, sparrow flag and all this 
So whenever I have a look up, I can see the enemy and what they're using. These are for my party one for 2v2 arenas. I want to track the buffs. I want to track the hands. And then necrotic strikes. Here I'm tracking my diminishing returns above the chat. Um, again, for the target and underneath this for focus. Here are some of my buffs and necrotic debuff. Another another section with buffs here to the left which shows me the buffs that are important during the fight uh, some of the buffs like di like divine shield and all that on top of me dark simulacrum so that my enemy doesn't copy my wings or some major cooldown and here are my burst cooldowns and strong defensives so that's what they tell me when it does here tracking the trinket procs Galvin's unit bars here, just underneath my character, it shows the uh, health and mana. Also, another thing, how Power Ores helps me is, this is what I mentioned before, is the 35% HP and below, this is how it looks. Threshold, 35% HP, health, that's when it triggers. And here, these are my holy powers. One, two, three. And if I have three again, it also shows this sign. So, one, two, three for the circles. And for the third one, also a bigger this thing, this symbol. Okay, I think that's about it. Here are the party ability bars. See, this is um, what I'm tracking on a on a warrior. This is what I'm tracking on a death knight. This is what the add-ons look like on my death knight. Again, bartender. You can see here. That's the bartender. There are the profiles. You can see. I have profiles for action bars, keybinds, and macros. And I have different setups here that I can choose from. Tell me when for Unholy Death Knight and Frost Death Knight too. You can see I have some different buffs and debuffs tracking here. It shouldn't be over the over the frame, but I haven't haven't worked with that for a long time so you can see I'm tracking some of the buffs and debuffs that I have not been tracking on my paladin but that's just my laziness and there you can see here I have uh, debuffs on my targets, sudden doom proc for free death coils and so on dark simulacrum du duration of the of the buff on me whenever I can use it Okay, and uh, I think that's all I have to say about the add-ons. If you have any questions, feel free to ask uh, in the comment section. Uh, one last thing I should mention is that most of the add-ons, you can find them on Google. Just Google. Just Google. Wow, Kata. Add-on and its name. Tell me when. Um, look for the version 4.3, 4.3.4 4 if possible. Um, that's the patch that most Cataclysm servers would be using. And uh, pages that you can find them on is CurseForge, it's very popular. But there are some other ones like Legacy WoW, I believe it's called. Uh, you can find add-ons wherever. Just try them out if they work. Uh, there might be some add-ons that you won't find, but that's very rare. I know a friend of mine sent me, I, I think he sent me Gladius because I couldn't find it.
this was just the way that my interface is set up this is the way I like it um, I definitely there are definitely some improvements I can make um, but this is how I'm used to play and I've used and I've played like this for years and years and I've got high ratings for many classes so this is just something that works for me but again interface is something that everybody has to figure out for themselves and uh, see where you look at the screen and what's optimal for you so this is just an example of how I use it alright thanks for watching and uh, goodbye